let's get these uh, charts up, eh? Oh, hang on. Whoops. Charts only. There we go. Right here. Now you can see. Excellent. Uh, again, for all those of you who have, uh, who are in here, uh, I'm going to go through and have a look at the market right now. What's actually um, what's going on, and then uh, at the end, if you've got any questions, please uh, regarding the live courses that we've got, um, just uh, I'll save your questions for the end, and I will endeavour to answer those. Okay, cool. So we've um, we, we've seen some uh, some bits and pieces going on this week. I mean, it's been look, here's the thing. The market went from a completely quiet nothingness to uh, all of a sudden heaps going on. And it was only on, I think, uh, Monday, Tuesday, where I was sort of saying, look, it's we're just waiting. We're in waiting mode. And at that time, uh, what we'd had was we just didn't have a break up through this level. Now, of course, as we started to see this start to pull back here, as we had set a lower low here, uh, I went straight in and just sort of went, you know, I'm mono. Okay, hang on. Is, is, is that better? You, you got, got me? You, you got, got the sound good there? Is that the one you want? Better sound? Oh, I think that should be it. Um, yeah, so, good day, everybody. Um, yeah, so basically, at this point, when we've set this lower low, uh, essentially what happened there was, um, you know, we went into a downtrend. And of course, the weekly here, uh, having had a, you know, no pullback for quite some time, I was really just focusing on where we we're going to pull back to. Now, just to give you a bit of insight, for those that missed it, um, now we've got an echo. Excellent. This is exactly what we need. Technical issues. How about that? Is that better? Is the echo gone now? Is that better? I love technology so much. <clears throat> All right, is that sound better? I'm just trying to get rid of I've got so many different sound bloody options here. Uh, God, can you tell me if that is better? If not, I can change something else as well. No better, right. No, okay. How about that? Is that better? Still an echo, right? Bloody hell! Go back to original. All right, yeah. Let's uh, let's see if I can work that one out. What was that? That was. Uh... Is that better? Okay, looks like I've got it. <clears throat> Sweet. All right, so I'll come back to the chat. Sorry about um, sorry about that, uh, guys. A couple of issues here. I'm not the best at tech. I'll, I'll be honest with you with that. Um. So what I'm going to do here is just show you the reason why I was looking for that pullback is, is quite straightforward. Let's look at history repeating itself here, right? Pullback from the highs, 37%, right? We get that. Then we go for another pullback from the highs, 33%. Cool. So we're around that 30-ish percent from these highs back to the low, 37% again, seeing a bit of a pattern forming here from this high to this low, a bit deeper, but only just 37, 38 type percent. So We'd seen very similar, each of these pullbacks are 30 odd, 30 to 40%, right? Now here's the good news. 
when they did pull back, and look, they pulled back, this is a weekly chart, pulled back into the cradle and every single time, which is what good trends do. It's what I teach. It's what I trade. It's, it's kind of my, my go-to for everything is that cradle zone. So look, from the low of the pullback to the high, this was a small swan by mind you, 80% move from the low to the high, 233% move from the low to the high, 170, and then this absolute behemoth at 580 or whatever it was. Yeah, there we go, 560%. So a very, very strong move there. Uh, Tim, I think it's just you, mate. I think everyone else has got me loud and clear. So we, we'd seen these consistent pullbacks at 30 to 40%. So that was fairly, fairly significant, fairly normal. And that was exactly why, if we come back to here and we look at where the move sort of started, right? 120, actually, let's, let's do it like this as, as, as the pullback more than anything else. So that pullback of 30-odd percent, 33 percent, got us to 6,000. That is why um, I could basically, you know, had the chart pull, sorry, that is why I was sort of saying 6,600 to 6,000, okay? So that's really what I'm working towards. That's why I pulled those numbers out. They weren't just pulled out of thin air, but based on past experience. And here's the thing. Here's what's come to my attention right now. The issue that I've got is that we've only got one pullback candle for the moment. Now, this is just a weekly chart. And sure, we could still sell off and we could still come down into that region. There, there's no, there's, there's nothing to stop us from doing that. Okay, there's nothing to stop us from doing that. It's now a matter of, well, let's go to the daily and go, well, here's the thing. You know, I'm looking at these lower time frames, higher, low, higher, high. And then if I look at some of these other time frames, like the three day, beautifully in the cradle zone, four day. It's also in the cradle zone. And you look at the weekly here. No, I know it's not in the cradle zone, but it's not so massively overextended now because we've had this candle close. Now, if this one closed like this, these moving averages would tick up a little bit closer because the moving averages follow the price, of course. So for me, uh, it's looking much more bullish at the moment. It could still have that uh, deeper pullback. But, you know, the thing that's changed this week is that we have rolled and broken that level that I was talking about. You know, we can't even fail at 8,000 quite a few times. I've done nothing, guys. I've done absolutely nothing. I've, I've literally touched not a thing. Can you hear me still now? Is, is that better or is that worse? I've got some people saying that um, there's some issues still with sound. It's bizarre that it just turned and changed. Is the sound fine now? Bit of a bloody disaster, this one, isn't it? Or can nobody hear me? Am I talking to myself? Okay, now it's fine again. Okay, I'm just gonna keep, uh, I've got plenty of people saying that it, it, it's fine. Some people are saying there's issues. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna soldier on. I'm, I'm just gonna just do, do what I can here. Otherwise I'm just gonna be, you know, back and forth and we won't get any, uh, anything going on here. So yeah, we, we, the levels that I was looking at, we came up and we hit that 8,000. We rejected it once, we rejected it twice. Bearish candle broke down. I thought, here we go. This is the beginning of, uh, of the fall. This is what it's looking like to me. Um, of course, then this candle here just threw an absolute spanner in the works. You know, we pumped 5% that next day, and it was, then it forced me to reconsider. I thought, okay, well, if that's the case, then we need to now look at this candle because if this could, this could become a higher low when we break up, we might see it uh, move on. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's been a bit of a topsy-turvy little period. Now, if I just work down a little bit further here, actually, I'm gonna use the, X, the XBT because this is, what I've, this is what I took, I'm actually long. Uh, on Bitcoin with some margin here. Um, Echo's gone, good, good, good. Okay, sounds worse while you're talking to your, okay, some, something strange there anyway. Um, so yeah, I mean, you can see it pulling, but you can see, look, test one, test two, test three. Higher low here, higher low here, <whistles> pop through. Pop through quite nicely and it's pulled back in. Now, what it does from here, look, I don't know what it's gonna do. Good convergence here and I'm happy to be long right now. Um, now that's coming from a trader who not so long ago was saying that they thought it was gonna pull back further and I, it may still do that, but I've gotta read what's in front of me. And yeah, I'm gonna change my mind. As the chart changes its mind, I have to adapt with that chart. So it's quite funny getting the trolls coming out saying, weren't you just saying the other day it was gonna pull back to here? Absolutely, yeah, I was. And because there was more information that was given to me, yeah. I was able to uh, you know, assess what was going on and, and change things. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it, it is what it is right now, and it's just holding on this level, holding above 8,000. I'd really like to see this puppy pop. That's what I'm really after here, but it's going to, uh, it's going to take a little bit of time, uh, I think. Hopefully I'll wake up and we're, you know, we're at 16,000, but you know what I mean. <laughs> There's been a lot going on. Now let me take you through a couple of the things that have happened this week that uh, we've been on in, my, uh, in the community. Uh, and with the with the membership and whatnot, so 
Uh, what was it? Um, Binance. Now, many of you would have seen this. I actually got this out publicly. So this was posted on my Twitter. It was posted on my Facebook. Uh, this is one of my favorite pairs to be trading. It, you know, it's been the biggest profits for me this year, uh, given that I took this cradle trade back here. Uh, again, that was publicized. Uh, and it also, there was a breakout up here. Um, I ended up getting out, uh, I think, one of them up here and one of them here. So it was a you know, a very, very good move. From $6.40, I think my first buying price was, to getting out at, I think, I don't know, I can't remember the exact number, 28 bucks or something along those lines. Now, what I like here is, um, you look at, look at how this looks on the weekly chart, you know. It, it tends to run, then come back to the cradle and run. Now, this was an exception. It, it did downtrend properly. We never got a downtrend here. We just got a messy pullback. Now we're moving on again. And I, I can see some big things going here for Binance against Bitcoin, which is, you know, as you can see, on a Bitcoin breakout type trade, one of the strategies I teach, nice tight stop. Look at that for a move. Absolute doozy. Plenty of profits there if you want it. People were fishing at the same time, Dave. No worries. <laughs> That's uh, not a problem to be fishing instead of trading. I've got no issue with that at all. But there's opportunities that are starting to arise once again, pullbacks into the cradles, and it's a really strong chart. It's one that I am long. Members and myself, and hopefully many in the public, have also done very well from that. Another one that's moving quite nicely at the moment that we got on board is uh, is Neo here. Now this was put out, I uh, think the same day, as no, day after Binance. Wider stop option, you could even go a bit tighter here uh, and get a stop underneath this level. It has moved quite nicely as well. The good thing about this is that with Bitfinex, you do have margin, so you can get a bit more bang for your buck, so to speak. So um, again, a, a really, really nice move uh, that's, that's sort of come about there as well. So we're looking pretty good on there. Now, the other one that I have got long on as well, that's not really doing very well at the moment, I've got to say, is, uh, is this EOS trade. Now, why do I like EOS? Let me work you backwards from here and give you a bit of an understanding as to why. Um, if I show this to you on the weekly, Look at it straight back into um, that beautiful uh, little area. It's weird that some people have got bad sound. It seems to be, I, I've got no idea why. I'm sorry, guys. Some people, it looks like a couple of people have bad sound. The rest of you seem pretty good. I, I'm not sure why, and I, I do apologize. It's, it's not something that I can control, apparently, because, you know, it's come and gone. It's, I haven't changed any settings. Um, it's pulled back into this cradle zone. Beautiful moving averages. Look at this level through here. If I jump back to the daily again, check this out. Six bucks, bang, bang, bang. I've been talking to six dollars for a long time as we moved up as a level of resistance. Took this trade as a cradle back here. Got a nice move out of that. And um, and then we pulled back in. Look how we've rejected, 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 rejected so many times. It just held it really, really well. I was actually lining it up for a potential three-day cradle here. Didn't close bullish enough. And I'm actually quite happy I didn't get that because what it's opened up for me is the trade today. Now, whether or not I get a profit out of this or not, I love the trade. Good convergence, high low one, high low two, high low three. Test one, test two, test three, break. And now it's pulling back into that level just a bee's dick below it, but I'm cool with that. I've got no issue with that at all. So look, there are three trades right there that have gone, uh, sorry, can I count? Binance, EOS, Bitcoin. Yes, I can count. Three really, really good moves going on. And that's the beauty of this market, guys. It can just, bam, flip on a dime and all of a sudden uh, it's just killing it. Uh, then you go through periods where it's quite slow. Now, as far as I'm concerned right now, I'm not looking to do too much more as far as trading goes until I see Bitcoin start to show a little bit more confidence to me. I'd love to see, I mean, we're back in the cradle zone now, no problem. I'd love to see it push onto a new higher high. Then I think we'll, we'll see some master moves and things will really start to uh, actually kick on. And that's obviously what we're, uh, what we're all about. Failing that, we're going to pull back. And, uh, you know, we're good to go. So Josh took all three, nice, mate. Well, I hope, well, the Binance one's kind of killed the pig. Um, you know, the uh, the Neo one's doing quite well as well. So it's been, from my point of view, it's been a very, very, very good week uh, of opportunity. It's about sitting back, waiting for the right opportunities to arise and then attack when they do. If we have a quick little squeeze of the top 10 based on these daily charts, and I actually see some momentum starting to shift here as well. Um, Ethereum, uh, this is one that, you know, if I do get a nice little trade in here, I've, I'm going to have to weigh up my risk. Uh, see where these positions have got me uh, and, and what risk I've got against dollar with profit either locked in or not because it's got a nice higher low here, higher high. A pullback in on this on the theory might be worthy. It's a nice looking chart there, just starting to get a move on again. EOS, of course, I've already spoken to. That looks like it's in a fantastic place for a kick on. Whether it does or it doesn't, I love that as a trade. I don't, I don't make the trades. I don't, well, once I'm in the trade, my job's done, apart from managing it, right? You know, I don't have any control over the market. I control about my um, decisions prior, 
and and of course that's what I specialize in but from there I, I can't do anything about it so I just like to take trades that I'll stand behind win or lose <clears throat> EOS is one of them Bitcoin is one of them the rest are as well um, XRP looking pretty average sorry still is looking pretty average as, as it has done for quite some time I mean that's not a very tradable trend XRP again pretty pretty average looking there not looking all that fantastic Litecoin what an absolute cracking trend um, yeah, I hope Bitcoin has a 2 a.m. special on us and, and, and heads higher. The good old 2 a.m. candle seems to be a cracker at the moment. Uh, Litecoin, again, the only reason I didn't take this was, well, basically the 109 level was above it and there was a bit of resistance running through there, eh? So I left that one alone, waiting for a pullback now. And this sort of works on most of the time frame. It just needs to get back a bit. We're getting there on the 8th, you know. I need to see it come back in a bit more. I know that there's all this talk of the halvening and blah, 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 blah. I'm not too concerned about any of that. I just trade what I see and minimize my risk when I can. Bitcoin Cash, pretty average there as well. If we do look at this on the weekly, however, look, you know, it's not looking too bad pulling back. It's, it's very similar to Bitcoin, which really comes as no surprise to us. Uh, I'm going to say Binance because I know no one says it like that. And I like to shock you. Binance. Imagine if someone, imagine if it was Binance and we've been saying Binance all this time. Anywho, uh, higher low here, higher high. This is against Tether, of course, pushing on the new all-time highs. You little ripper. And uh, away she goes. Now, I didn't take this break out because it wasn't quite as good. It had already broken through, so I went for the Bitcoin break anyway. That's the one I went for. Tron has had a move. It's looking a little bit like it needs some more inspiration. And Cardano's been kicking ass lately. Uh, I'm not looking for any longs right now. Not until we break out above uh, this resistance. Need to get above these highs so there's a bit going on in the markets you need to keep your eye on the game at the moment because um you know it is still a bit messy on bitcoin i've got to be honest you know i, I was expecting a little bit more um now you look at this level here and you think oh resistance no i, I actually deleted that uh, earlier today i'm not quite sure why it came back up again um but i don't see that as any any form of resistance anymore it broke through it a couple of times it really didn't hold true to anything to be fair um, I, I had expected to see, uh, or anticipated, not expected, to see a bit more of a move out of Bitcoin today. Um, hopefully it comes overnight. But uh, yeah, we've got room for further upside. We've also got room for further downside. So it's a, that's why it's a bit tricky at the minute. And the chart's not, apart from these higher lows and higher highs, it isn't, you know, on the higher time frames, it's still looking a little bit stuck. So we'll have to wait and see what goes on there. Now, as far as everything else goes, guys, um. I'm, I'm sure you're probably aware because we've been uh, we've been letting you know, we, and for those of you who don't know, we've actually decided because we've been listening to what you guys have to say, um, we've actually got ourselves, well, we've pulled our finger out basically and um, gone ahead and basically said we're going to do live courses. Now this is something that I know that a lot of you have registered for. I want to tell you a couple of things about it. If you go, all you got to do here is register, right? Then you go to the next page, which shows you all the different options. There's plenty of different options for payment. We're going to be in all these cities as you see here on these dates and we might even go abroad as well the idea being is we want you to come into a classroom meet you sit down with you and uh, work with you you'll be working with the apprentices you'll be working with myself and you'll be able to meet like-minded people in your area as well the idea being that um you know trading can be a pretty lonely existence you go ahead and meet people in a classroom you get to learn from them with them and get some buddies in your area as well now the reason for the registration okay so chuck your details in here then it takes you through all the different options for the different um you know sort of levels that you wish to join put this in because then it gives us an idea of how many people in how many cities now we do have limited places and they are filling pretty quick so uh, one thing i will tell you is this if you're sitting back going oh, i might do it next time don't and the reason don't is quite simply I'm never going to do it for the prices that we're doing it now. I'm never going to do that again. Simple reason is that we're not going to make much money out of this. We just aren't. Um, the bronze, you know it is 674. You go through, you have a look, you're pretty much coming for free. Okay, you're pretty much coming for free with what we've put down there. So we're not looking to kill the pig here. We're looking to do a tour, meet people, have a bit of fun at the same time. I wouldn't mind getting out fishing in all these destinations. I've got to be honest, it's a little bit selfish of me. But um, we're doing the tour for you guys. Um, you're going to get a heap of stuff here. Obviously, you can see it all. We'll take you through all of the bronze stuff, every single strategy I teach. There'll be a few additional extras that I'm putting together as well uh, around the trader's journey stuff and um, how to use certain exchanges. It's going to be jam-packed. You're going to be able to ask me your questions. We're going to supply lunch. We're going to supply morning tea, afternoon tea. We're going to have a hell time. 
So uh, if you're considering coming, just get going because, as I say, this is the time. You'll also, by the way, the memberships, um, for everybody who comes live, you also are going to get the second that you pay, you get access to all the online courses for life. All right, so it's exactly the same as what we normally do. Every single person that comes gets the online courses for life, as usual, so you can always go back through it if you should need to, and you will. It's always good to go back through. So all you need to do, guys, is go to tradercob.com forward slash classroom. Look at this ball bloke here. Have a chat to him. Uh, he's going to talk to you about what the hell's going on at these events. Put your details in. We're not using these for anything other than getting engaged for how many people are coming to each event, okay? So um, I know heaps of you are already in. For those of you who are, I can't wait to get to your city and see you. If your city is not listed here, we do, as you can see here, have an option to put in other city because um, by the look of it, we'll be heading to London and then on to LA at some point as well because there seems to be quite a demand there. So um, yeah, mate, mate, look, I'm speaking to one person. Ladies and gentlemen, it would be awesome if you could get along, I'd love you to come along, teach you what we do, hit me with all your questions, meet a bunch of people, have a bunch of fun, and hear a bunch of uh, pretty average dad jokes, and uh, probably it'll be raining analogies. I've been brushing up on them, guys. Have a fantastic evening. Keep an eye on those markets, guys. And um, yeah, get across the website, get ready to sit, and let's do this. Take it easy, guys. Speak to you again soon. Bye for now.